to uh, now I'm going to connect to a raster image. So the same thing here. I got my data table up on my task pane. I'm going to connect to data. In this case, I'm going to choose raster image or surface connection. Um, same thing. If I had a folder full of SID files, I can connect to that entire folder and one at a time select those, or I can pick that individual drawing. So I'm just going to pick the individual. Um, back up a little bit. Image. I'm going to connect to the quad map. I'm going to add it to my map. And if I didn't get this quad map in the right coordinate zone, I can do a coordinate transformation um, on the fly. So I can come right in um, and edit that coordinate system. Right now it's just saying unknown, so it's reading what I have, but I can change that and override that. So I can do quick coordinate transformations with, with all this information. Uh, so you can see there that that image, which hopefully you can see that. It's a little interesting. So if I have a huge SID file, and I'm going to delete that. I don't like that. So Let's connect to another. Let's connect to another image here. There we go. That's better. Somewhat better. So I've connected to this image, and it's a huge file. It's a two gig SID, and I really just want to focus maybe on this area. So I can come in, and again, you can't clip it. You can't really do anything because you're connected to that data. But what you can do is resample that raster image. So I've zoomed in to my raster image, to the area that I want to focus on. I can right-click in my task pane and go to Resample Raster. It's going to resample that raster just to that area. So the data is still there. It's just not viewing it. So it doesn't have to display it. It doesn't have to regen it. Uh, definitely keeps your file size down.